It is a watershed moment in the five-year Syrian civil war. After a relentless offensive augment, augmented by the Russians, the government of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad is once again in control of the rebellion's most important stronghold. Now that Aleppo has fallen, many experts are asking if President Obama's intense focus on one particular Middle Eastern nation kept the U.S. from doing more to prevent the deaths of untold numbers of innocents. Correspondent Kevin Cork is at the White House tonight to fill in the blanks. Could President Obama have done more to stop the violence in Syria? Or did his insistence on completing the Iran nuclear deal weaken his resolve to unseat the Assad regime? Those are just some of the questions the administration continues to face as Mr. Obama prepares to leave the White House in just a few weeks. The use of chemical weapons is and would be totally unacceptable. And if you make the tragic mistake of using these weapons, there will be consequences and you will be held accountable. That was the president's now infamous red line back in 2012. But since those comments, Assad has continued to massacre his own people, often with the help of the Russians. Critics suggest it was the president's zeal to push the Iran nuclear deal over the finish line that not only clouded his focus, it enabled other troubling hot spots to percolate. There's no question that because the entire Obama foreign policy machine was committed to this Iran deal, that they looked the other way on a lot of things. I think the Iran deal forced us to pull our punches in our policy with Russia, especially on Ukraine, because we needed the Russians to get the president's legacy nuclear agreement with Iran. Other critics have even suggested the deal may have contributed to the surprisingly muted U.S. response to allegations of Russian hacking attempts during the election cycle. And yet so much has happened since the completion of that deal. The Russians have refused to leave Ukraine. They continue to bomb Syria. As for the Chinese Chinese, well, they're still operating uh, unabated in the South China Sea. And keep in mind, uh, Brett, that Tehran has basically walked away with a billion and a half dollars. So while that deal was without a doubt historic, critics wonder if it came at a pretty high cost.